Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, my channel, Peter. <laughs> boom, 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 bam, 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 review stuff and I am back for another review and I am so excited to review these because um, they look very, very good but I had a conversation with my friend Melissa about them. So what I am reviewing today is Lily's Toaster Grills Grilled American Cheese Hot and Crispy from your Toaster 8 Pack. And I got these at Costco and I had actually looked at them <laughs> several times before I purchased them. So it was so funny because I was with my friend Melissa yesterday. We were running around doing some errands and stuff like that. And I was telling her about my yellow green Nostalgia Deluxe Grilled Cheese Maker and that she needed to get one. And she was like, oh my God, have you tried the grilled cheeses that you put like in the microwave and then in the toaster? <clears throat> I think you put them in the microwave first. We'll see here in a second. I've been keeping them in the freezer. So she said, you put them in the microwave and then you put them in the freezer. I didn't know anything about them. I haven't looked at them. We're going to try it out here today. And then she said, from Costco. And I said, no, but I just bought them yesterday with my cousin Caroline because I wanted to try them for the review channel. And she goes, well, let me know what you think. And I said, okay, why? And she said, because she said they're okay, but she said they're not like the best that I've ever had. So I have them right here. I have a plate for the microwave in case I need to put them in the microwave. I have not napkins. And then I also have our toaster right here. So I am all prepared to do this. Okay, now let's look on the back of the box and we're going to read what it says. Four easy steps. So this is a cooking video, okay? This is a cooking video. <laughs> let's not get confused about that, okay? Already smells like freezer burn. Goodness in every sandwich and everywhere, <laughs> everything we do. Let's make sure that it looks like that, okay? It looks delicious and cheesy and everything like that when it comes out. We're going to see, okay? Goodness in every sandwich and everything we do. Lily's founders are moms who believe in nourishing families with high quality ingredients like fresh baked bread, wholesome cheese, and real butter. Each Lily's sandwich is hot, crispy, and satisfying. Lily's founders also believe that every child should have a nutritious lunch. We donate our sandwiches to elementary... Oh, I like that. We donate our sandwiches to elementary schools and disadvantaged communities to spread the goodness. Learn more at lilystoastergrills.com. Okay, so... Four things, toaster directions. First thing, remove sandwich from plastic wrap. Okay. So I'm going to open it. Okay. Here, I want to give you the nutritional value first. Um, for one sandwich, 390 calories, 25 grams of fat, 34 carbs, three sugars, and 16 proteins. Oh, it's a really high protein thing. How many uh, sandwiches come in here? This is eight pack. But there seems like there's a lot more in here. Oh, nope. There's just eight sandwiches. There's four and four. Okay. So here's what it looks like. A little package. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the sandwich from the plastic wrap. This is a really difficult part of cooking. Okay. Now y'all know I don't cook. Okay. Remove the sandwich. Woo! It's almost a grilled cheese already. Remove the sandwich from the uh, plastic wrap. Okay. Microwave each sandwich for 30 seconds. Okay. So I got my plate right here. Now, I'm going to take you over to the microwave. Put it in the microwave like that. This is cooking. This is some serious cooking that we're doing in here. All right. You guys are actually, right now, you're sitting on top of my mugs in my mug cabinet. I should have used this one today. This is so pretty, isn't it? <gasps> pretty is, it's pretty does, but I didn't. You know which one I use? I use my gold one, but anyway. Maybe I'll use that one tomorrow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. My favorite's the song. I love that song so much. Okay. So then you take your sandwich. Then my hair looks so good. <laughs> it's shaking bacon. I helped. Okay. So then you take your sandwich out of the microwave as such. <laughs> okay. Here it is. This is going to be crap. I can tell. All right. And then it says set toaster to medium high 
setting depending on your toaster. Okay. Well, my toaster does not have medium high. My toaster has cancel, cancel culture, frozen toaster, frozen bagel, or bagel. So I guess. Oh, five, four, three. So we're going to put it in between four and three. Okay. All right. Toast sandwich for one cycle. So it's kind of like loosey goosey here. So. All right. She's toasting. <laughs> Let's toast her for one cycle. <laughs> I love to toast for one cycle. Clean up as you go. That means just stuffing it back in the box. Or we're gonna put it back over in the freezer in just a second. Okay. This better be good. If this is like really good, I'm just gonna get these and I'm gonna throw out the uh, Nostalgia Deluxe Grilled Cheese Maker, which by the way, I swear by that thing, that yellow thing that I reviewed over here. My hat never fits on my head and I look like a hot mess. But anyway, it doesn't matter because you know why? You don't have to be a movie star. You don't have to be an Instagram couture model to review a grilled cheese sandwich. You too can be a grilled cheese sandwich reviewer. All you have to do is have a camera. Don't have a camera? Get a phone. Don't have a phone? I don't know. Draw a picture of yourself eating a grilled cheese sandwich. Say, mmm, mmm, good. Draw that picture. Post it on YouTube. All of a sudden, you're a grilled cheese reviewer. When people from high school ask me, what do you do for a living? I say, I review grilled cheese sandwiches on my review channel. Peter reviews stuff. Please come check me out sometime. How long is one damn cycle enough for me to come up with all these skits? Come on, skits, skits, skits. I feel like I'm at summer camp coming up with skits again. I only went to summer camp one year. It was Camp Pioca, okay? And I didn't want to go, but my mom said she thought it would be good for me to socialize, okay? Because I wasn't very good at socializing. So I went to Camp Pioca, and on the last night, we had to come up with like a talent show skit. And I remember our cabin, of which by that point, like I loved summer camp, okay? That last night, we decided we were going to put all of our uh, sleeping bags together, and our skit was going to be that we were a caterpillar, okay, moving around stage. And we had so much fun, and everybody clapped for us, and all this kind of stuff, and I loved it so much. And the next day, I had called my mom, like, every day, telling her to come pick me up, and she was like, no, you just need to stay there, you know? Probably because she was, like, going out with her girlfriends and having such a good time while I was gone. But anyway, that's besides the point. So anyway... So she came to pick me up and she was like, I'm so sorry. I know you hated it. And I go, I want to go back to summer camp every summer. Like I loved it so much. But anyway, that's beside the point. What is taking this so long? This is why I don't cook. Okay. Like at Cheesecake Factory, they give you bread. At Maggiano's, they give you bread. Okay. They don't give you bread because they want you to enjoy the bread. They give you bread to shut your mouth so that you shut up while you're waiting for the food to come. That We all know that, right? Although I do love that bread so much. Have you ever had that garlic? Oh, it's, the cycle's done. Have you ever had the garlic bread from Maggiano's? Ah, oh, chef's kiss. Okay, so here's the grilled cheese sandwich. She's done. She kind of looks the same as she did Frozen. What should we name her? Now, I always call things Sally Joe or Judy Smith. Let's come up with a new name, okay? Tamara. No, Tamara's from the Real Housewives of Orange County. Vicki Gundelson. We should, I should start naming all of my food after Real Housewives. So if I was going to name a grilled cheese after somebody, who would I <laughs> Dorit? <laughs> We're going to eat our grilled cheese Dorit today, okay? <laughs> With a side of Lisa Renna. So anyway, okay, I got to let this cool down because it's weird. Woohoo! Woo! Hot potatoes. One time I took my good Judy Tanya Jean to the casino like years ago. She hates the casino. She thinks it's a waste of money, which it is. But anyway, so I took her to the casino. And, you know, people are real serious at the casino. And so we were sitting there, and we were playing this, I don't know, this Zeus machine or something like that. And it was I was on the end, and then it was Tanya, and then there was this woman, and she was playing two machines. So Tanya is, like, real loud. Like, she doesn't know a whisper voice to save her life. And she's like, why is this woman playing two machines? And I go, a lot of people do it, Tanya Jean. Don't worry about it, okay? So Tanya's sitting there, and she's playing it. And, like, 
she's playing like 30 cents and this woman's playing like three dollars you know she's playing max bet and so like tanya would hit like on a 30 cent bet she hit like five cents and she'd go woo, woo, hot potatoes this woman got so mad that she ended up like getting up and checking out her tickets and walking away. Tanya thought it was the funniest thing in the entire world. Okay, so let's try this grilled cheese. Let's try Dorit with a side at Lisa Renna. Mmm, I gotta chew it on that side with my tooth. I mean, hold on. Okay, so here's the thing. Definitely not as good as my Nostalgia Deluxe Grilled Cheese Maker. I swear by mayonnaise on a grilled cheese now, instead of butter. But if somebody, if I went to somebody's house and they said, do you want a grilled cheese? And I said, yeah. And they went in their kitchen and they came out with this. I would think that they just grilled this up like on the stove. Like I would grill it up on the stove, you know, whatever. I would never believe that this had come in a box and was made in a microwave and a toaster. Like I would never. It's rather bland. It's not like has the most flavor in the entire world, but I'm going to give it a 4.2 or 3. I'm really rather impressed with it. It's good. I mean, it's, it's filling and it's good. It's not soggy at all. It's toasted. I'm rather impressed with this. Oh my gosh. I'm actually going to up it to a 4.5. I think this is, I'm really impressed with this. And I think this would be really easy to make from, to make lunches for the kids and stuff like that. Or if you just had one, I love grilled cheese. So if you just had it in your box, you could just grill yourself up a grilled cheese. I mean, what did that take me? You know? Less than five or six minutes to make. So let me know what you think if you've tried them in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.